Building a Galactic Team. Hello everyone and welcome to this NASA Space Apps COVID-19 Special Edition Hackathon. I'm glad you decided to participate in this challenge. My name is Christian Jacob and I have been Buenos Aires, Argentina, lead coordinator for the past Space Apps editions in our city on the last four years. I hope you are going to enjoy this very first completely virtual COVID-19 edition to face many challenges this pandemic brought to our world. Beyond the critical situation that many countries have got into or are still into them, I'm quite positive that the outcomes of this pandemic will have much larger benefits than the troubles it did generate. One of them is that you decided to not bring your arms down and stay inactive at home and rather collaborate globally in this effort just to bring one potential solution or a new perspective to a problem that NASA has addressed to. At the same time, your playground will be the whole world. You will be able to interact with many other participants like you, with a different kind of skill sets so as to complement each other, discuss, research and conclude on a diverse approach to solve one of NASA's identified problems. As well, you will be able to interact with subject matter experts for your chosen project that can give you a hint on how to face a particular topic on your challenge or help you on a decision you may need to make. As such, this bootcamp session addresses the issue on how to build a proper team and plan ahead the time you are going to spend along the weekend of the 30th of May. It is of the utmost importance the time you dedicate in advance to build your team, identify the challenge that most suits you, identify the skills your team needs to have, plan the activities previous and along the weekend, work intensively on the 30th and 31st of May, and communicate and deliver your project. Let's see these topics in detail. Build your team. Here, it is a critical winning factor. You reach the event with a team already formed and with the roles of each team member assigned. For that matter, you first need to focus on which challenges you are interested most and make a rough plan on what abilities you need to face for the challenge. Don't worry on not having all the needed skill sets. Just focus that you can bring to the team a differential contribution on one part of the solution. Surely you will be able to find the other ingredients on the rest of participants that will take part on this special edition. For that purpose, begin to participate actively in the forums that will be open for your region or whatever other means you have access to to build your dream team. Don't forget about the soft skills. We technology people are always focused on the technical aspects, but it's of rather importance also having on the team people that can communicate the ideas, storytellers, writers, journalists, people that can assemble and make a working and operative team, identify motivators for everyone, like human resources specialists, translators, and so on. Identifying your challenge. Take a careful reading of all the challenges that are posted on the COVID-19 webpage. At first, identify which ones are the most suitable, either for your knowledge or for your interest, or if you have already identified a resource of data that may be part of your contribution to the team. Prepare a pitch for yourself on how to communicate your abilities to others, so as when you interact with other potential members to form your team, you can quickly exchange ideas on what you are planning for your team and if you can align that ideas with the perspective of the others. If there is no fit, don't worry, quickly jump to another option or candidate. You will always find the right person given the magnitude of this event 
and the more people you research for, the better the final structure that your team may have. Identify the skills needed. Once you have an approximate idea of skills needed, you can do a second iteration of the challenge analysis and in the perspectives of the team members you have already identified. You may find, and most probably, that you are still missing some needed skills. As told in the previous points, don't forget about the soft skills, they are key. Then go for the hunting of your next wave of team members. The broader your team is, the better total throughput you are going to be able to deliver along the weekend. At the same time, the broader the team, the better planning you must do to assign to everyone their proper task. Don't work in isolation. Gather frequently to exchange ideas and advances. Identify in advance if a task is more intensive than you plan ahead and assign more resources to conclude them. Take in mind you can bring also to the team people you already know that have the skill sets you need or about which you already know of to work with. Engage them also to register and participate as new Hackathon members. But always remember that it's a proven fact in these challenges that the more diverse the team is, the more breakthrough ideas that will arise from their work. Challenge yourself about incorporating to your team a skill you never realized at first was needed to handle your project. A completely new vision could be given to your project far beyond your own expectations and current way of facing that particular challenge. Plan your activities. When your challenge and team members are in place, begin to make a rough plan on how you are going to address the challenge. Do a brainstorming all together to outline the steps you are going to follow and do an estimation on how much time it will take each one of them. If you have any doubt, don't forget to use the query channels you will have available along the weekend, where subject matter experts will be available to answer any questions or guidance. They will let you go in the way you have chosen, not interfering or changing your idea, but rather giving you guidance on which things to care for. To care for. Even though they are experienced people, always use them for putting on path your idea rather than expressing theirs. You may use also the guidance of the moderators for your region or city to find the resource you are looking for or knowing how to interact properly with the vastly available data you will have on hand for this event. Within the roles of your team, identify one that will account on how the time spent by the team is used in the way your plan states and dictates. A project manager. Don't worry about recalculating your initial plan, it may be needed, but always take in mind how much time it rests for the end of the event. Always focus on deliver a close solution. Tested whenever possible or delivered along a minimum viable product that shows that your idea really works. This is key when the jury evaluates the factibility of your solution. It's better to arrive at the event with a closed, non-perfect solution rather than having the brightest idea expressed but without possibility of proving it viable. Also, take in mind that your plan needs to use some of its time for presenting your idea. Dedicate at least two or three hours at the end of your time for compiling your ideas in an ordered manner. Work intensively. When the final activity starts on Saturday, you need to have a clear path to follow so as not to spare any minute on unwanted matters. For that purpose, team should be already formed. Roles should be assigned to everyone. Task being defined for starting everyone's work and meeting points established for gathering and sharing each other's progress as well as eventual reassessments of the original idea. The project manager should be the one that controls everyone is using his or her time 
the way it was intended for, and that ensures that each step is concluded so as to pass to the next one. If he or she finds a non-solvable problem, it is the responsible for gathering all the team together and evaluate the situation so as to build an alternate plan. Work in clusters. Too many people working on the same subject tends to generate too much discussion and less progress. Identify the right team member to perform a certain task and let him or her work. Be aggressive with the time schedules and work to commit to them. The clock will run and the team needs to advance at the pace you plan. It is always better to advance to the next step rather than perfectly finish the previous one. Communicate and deliver your project. It is important your team has in mind that you need to organize very clearly the concepts behind your solution as well as the proof of work you have achieved confirming your theoretical approach. On the first phase of evaluation, your project will be evaluated on a general level, taking in mind the originality of the idea and how well you have demonstrated it could be taken to reality. That is why your initial presentation should be short, engaging, clear on the concepts and proved doable in the essays you were able to perform. This does take a good amount of work to take it to practice. So, organize how you are going to present these facts in a short time period, usually just four minutes, and what engaging means you are going to use being it a talk, slideshow presentation, or a speaked show video, or any other mean. When finishing and presenting your work, choose an engaging speaker, ideally with good English fluency that can communicate clearly the outcomes of your solution. He or she does not to be the expert, but rather being able to express the concepts and engage the audience behind the proposed solution. Although this activity is much performed at the end of the event, there is, however, a previous activity you can research on, that is, checking the team presentations the winners of previous editions of Space Apps made. There, you can get ideas on how to present and which resources you can use to make your project razor clear and engaging. The archives of past Space Apps editions are available on the web as well as each team's project pages. So, be precise, plan ahead and use your time cleverly. The challenge does not start on the 30th of May. There is a lot of work you can do in advance and is not related only to the challenge you choose itself. Good luck and above all, enjoy this collaborating experience interacting with as many people as you can. And now let's share the experience from past participants. Let's ask Federico, how did you choose your challenge and how did you feel that your contribution would be better for that challenge? Hi, my name is Federico Agostinelli. I'm from in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm fellowship and musician. I participate for challenge in a mini mini sample. The last years I choose of challenge because I like it and know about from road space. I'm contribution this group, this motivation and trust. This is my third time Space Apps NASA and I want to tell you this hackathon amazing experience. Bye bye. I'm going to introduce for this question here to Karen and let's ask her. How did you feel participating in a global initiative like this? And what outcomes did you get you were not aware of? Hi, my name is Karen. I'm a future engineer and I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Two years ago, I participated in Space Apps and I was part of a team with the challenge Mission to the Moon. Fortunately, we got the global nominee in best use of hardware. It was very exciting to participate in this global initiative. Feeling that 
I could contribute with my ideas, my knowledge, and share the same passion about the space with other people was a great experience. Um, the best thing, making friends. I discovered how many technological solutions and information are provided to do projects that contribute to improving our world and exploring the universe. My recommendation for new participants in this edition is to form interdisciplinary teams, um, use your full potential, and above all, have fun. And finally, Karen. What are your suggestions when working in team so as to be time efficient and not lose time with unplanned and unwanted activities? Working as a team, it's important that you feel identified with the chosen challenge. So choose the best one for you and your team. For the first step, you can do a brainstorming to discuss different ideas. You can set the challenge goal and then set several short goals into the available time. It's important that you focus on what you want to solve. I've learned that if something doesn't work, you can change it. And the next time I'm wrong, you make it better. It's all like this, like a series of a prototype.